We all know that magnetic resonance imaging is a powerful diagnostics tool that lets doctors see inside our bodies to diagnose diseases so that effective treatments can be prescribed. However, many diseases like cancer and aging have their roots at the molecular scale. Therefore, if we could somehow develop a tool that would allow us to do magnetic resonance imaging of individual biomolecules in a living cell, then we would have a powerful new diagnostics tool for eventually developing cures for such stubborn diseases. We are not the first to have such dreams. Nearly a decade ago, researchers from IBM Almaden captured the world's imagination when they imaged a single spin with a magnetic cantilever. Since then, a number of biomolecules have been imaged with this technique, but all at low temperatures, within a fraction of a degree of absolute zero. Ever since this demonstration, we have been working hard to develop a room temperature, less invasive magnetic resonance imager that can have as good or better sensitivity as a cantilever, but might have the possibility of functioning inside living cells, maybe in living tissue. After examining a number of candidate molecules, we eventually chose to start with a color center in diamond called the nitrogen vacancy, NV for short. Diamond is a unique substance of exceptional chemical stability and biological inertness. It is the perfect material for making nanoscale fluorescent probes that do not bleach or blink. It can be made smaller than any other material while still retaining most of its bulk properties. The nitrogen vacancy center is a fluorescent impurity in diamond that gives it a red color. It is also a magnetic defect with unpaired electron spins in its ground state. Unpaired electrons generate the strongest magnetic gradients that are possible on the atomic scale. So the nitrogen vacancy can replace the gradient magnet coil of the traditional magnetic resonance imaging system. More importantly, it has an optical readout, so we don't need to bring the bulky and invasive MRI readout machine apparatus inside the cell. The laser used for readout also cools the spin temperature to a few degrees above absolute zero by leaving the diamond lattice at room temperature. This gives us superior sensitivity to any other technique. Thus, NV diamond is the ultimate atomic scale MRI machine. So how does a super sensitive room temperature spin probe detect spins in a biomolecule? Basically, it uses quantum back action. This should come as no surprise since it is widely known that the nitrogen vacancy is a leading candidate for quantum computers. And in fact, it's the only one that could potentially operate at room temperature. With this back action readout, we can then proceed, just as in conventional MRI, by selectively exciting the target spins with a microwave field tuned to their resonance. This depends on the spin location because of the magnetic field gradient. The key is how to minimize the noise from all the other spins in the neighborhood. For this, we use a microwave pulse sequence called double electron-electron resonance. DEER for short. The DEER sequence identified the most abundant external spin as unpaired electrons on the surface. By probing several nitrogen vacancies implanted just below the diamond surface, we were able to find cases where a few individual electron spins were visible. These show up as oscillations in the spin echo signal, where the oscillation frequency is a measure of the distance. In fact, a Fourier transform of the data would give a 1D image of the target spin. This is the key first step towards our ultimate goal of living biomolecule imaging. Of course, individual spins inside the diamond lattice have already been imaged with atomic scale resolution. But for bio applications, it is critical that we are able to extend these results to spins outside the diamond. By chemically cleaning the diamond surface, we were able to verify that the coupled spins were washed away and therefore were in fact the first spins ever detected outside of the diamond crystal. Clearly, there is much work to be done before we can, if ever, reach our long-term goal of spying on the inner workings of life on the molecular scale. But we have to learn to walk before we can run. And this breakthrough represents one of the first critical baby steps. Finally, we thank our sponsors. The Internationale Spitzenforschung of the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung, the European Union DINAMO, DARPA and NIH.